Hi everybody. Well, I finally made it after, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, about 38 hours of traveling. 38 hours. But hey, okay. But during that 38 hours, something happened and now I'm a little worried. Okay, so during my travels, I saw a text message come in from a voicemail from a princess representative saying that uh, there's going to be an announcement this afternoon saying the princess, Sun Princess inaugural sailing 10 days is canceled. Oh my gosh. So I scrambled, 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 had to... Uh, Cancel my hotel. Luckily, I had one day left before my free reservation canceled uh, that I was able to cancel with no penalty. So that would have been a couple days, uh, about seven, eight hundred dollars worth of uh, <laughs> of hotels. Then I had to cancel my flights, rearrange them, change them to other times, and now. Princess has reached out to me and has uh, has a media day going. Now, they had a media day before, and when they found out I was on the 10-day, they said, oh, great, then, okay, then you don't need the media day. So uh, they didn't book me. Now they are going, getting ready to, they want to book me on it. It's not my favorite way to do things. I just did the Icon of the Seas, and, you know, only a three-day cruise. The ship is humongous. There's no way you can see everything in three days. You can only see the highlights. And with the Prince Sun Princess, with everything brand new on her, including the new entertainment venue in their dome, the daytime, the nighttime, the two new restaurants on board, I uh, plus the, the new romance dinner that's on board that I want, you know, and the chef's table, etc., now I'm going to be on there for five days. And five days is, to me, just not enough. So I said to myself, well, maybe I can book the second five day, but apparently they're both uh, just media days. They had 20 cabins on each one. Now, the ship itself is sold out. So there's going to be a ton of other people on board, but they only had 20 cabins for media, and they are putting other people on in the next five days. The trouble for me is, it gets me off in Athens, as opposed to Rome. And when you're trying to fly out of Greece, and trying to fly out of, out of Athens, man, every flight is bringing you to, like, to, into France or into Newark. And there's a minimum of eight hour layover in each one. A minimum of that. So basically that's two days of traveling on the way home and a day of traveling to get there for a five day cruise. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of doing that. I tried to book the five days before the, the 10 days before that. But no, guess what? Right now on the Princess website, every single sailing is sold out for that time period. I could book a 10-day near the end of March, but I get off the ship on the 14th. So to stick around till the 31st, not going to do that. Not going to spend two weeks unless I could find a ton of other stuff to do. And... Yeah, that sounds like make work project as opposed to going and enjoying yourself kind of thing. So it looks like I'll be doing the five day. I got to bring the, the Sun Princess. Now I'm going to look at the transatlantic and see what's available. Maybe I can jump on the transatlantic on the way back. Because also in March, uh, so that one will be in March now, around March the 9th. I think. So I'll, my month long of cruises 
is turning in to one of these nightmare trips. Just one of these nightmare trips because the flights have been all mixed up. Now, I also I'm going to I'm going to say this really quickly on this channel because I mentioned before that I am uh because I fly so often and I always use Air Canada so I can uh, establish my points, right? You raise up in their loyalty points and everything like a cruise line. Well, I've hit super elite status, which means I'm a preferred customer with Air Canada. And I've never felt more like a preferred customer than I have on this trip. What I mean by that is when my first flights were all canceled in Montreal on the way to the Icon, the concierge is right away rebooking me and contacting me and asking me what I want to do and working with me and all that. No problem. Now on this flight down to Rio de Janeiro, well, uh, <laughs> uh, I had a, I had like a, a nine hour layover and then the flight was four and a half hours late plus a whole bunch of other things that happened. So, so watch my, uh, Don's family vacations tomorrow because I'm going to go into detail exactly what happened there. But when I get off, I, I obviously missed my connection in San Paolo uh, to head to Rio. And when I was getting off the plane, right there was a lady from Air Canada, uh, Christina, with, you know, my name on a plaque and saying, you know, she guided me. She had my next booking ticket with me. She went with me to pick up my luggage, guided me right through the airport to the other terminal where I'll have to go in and recheck in and gave me food vouchers and all this other stuff, but met me personally and escorted me till I was going through security to get into my next flight. And that is really good service. Like I'm in a country that, you know, it's mostly Portuguese. Not too many people speak English. I've been really noticing. Uh, when I was getting on the Tatum airline, Tatum airline, um, out of all the people at the counter, there must have been 40 people working there. Only one lady knew English when I was there. So that gives you an idea. And the signage is all big letters in Portuguese and Spanish, but very small writing in English, and so you it's very easy to miss some of the directions where you're trying to go. And uh, I really did appreciate them helping me out and having somebody escort me through to where I got to go. Um, but other than that, I find, like, I find my way, whether I'm in English, Portuguese, if I can't speak. I just, you know, I, I can sign my way. I, I booked a car and everything when I got here to get to the hotel. I booked a car to go to the cruise port tomorrow. All with people who didn't know English. And we got through it. We just, you know, smiled and I gave, you know, sign language of what I was going to do. And boy, you know, I'm learning Spanish. Wasn't learning Portugal. So maybe my next Babbel sponsorship will have to be me learning some Portuguese. Because I can I can get by a little bit in Spanish now, but boy, I was completely lost in Portuguese. <laughs> but I'm here. I made it. 38 hours, roughly. 35, 38 hours of traveling to get here. Normally, I would not do it. And once I found out Princess was cancelled, and then my flights were all delayed besides that, and it went from leaving at 9 o'clock to... Uh, to 10 o'clock, to 11 o'clock, to 12 o'clock, to 1 o'clock, to 2 o'clock. I just felt like saying, give me my money back. I'm going to take the train back to Ottawa and just skip my cruise. I was getting to, like I was getting tired and frustrated as opposed to excited to be doing what I'm doing. Because I want to see Region 7 Seas, but also the anticipation of getting on the Sun Princess afterwards was all part of this trip. And now it was, oh, you're going to Region 7 Seas, but hey, you're going to have a hassle to get there. <clears throat> and it just kind of took the enjoyment out of it. But I'm here now, I'm in Rio, and I'm heading to the ship today when you see this video. 
So wish me luck that nothing else, nothing else on this trip happens. But I wouldn't count on it.